Hello, good morning. Welcome to the pre-kinder level class. And the date today is January 11, 2022. Today is a Tuesday and we always say good morning. Good morning to you, Megan. This is a recorded class and we have the second day of review for today. So how about we start by practicing counting our numbers from 1 to 50. I will check the number for you and you can count with me there on your seat. So we have the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. That, that's our numbers. Those are the numbers that we practice counting, 1 to 50. And now about, let's move on to our lesson here. So we have our letter E. How do we write our E? Line down, make three shelves, one, two, and three. You have capital E. Lowercase e, line going out, over, and we have lowercase e. And remember, E has the eh, eh sound, letter E. Now, can you help me? Let's circle the things that has the letter E, the ones that begin with E. Is E for the eagle? E in eagle. Yes, let's circle this one. E for eagle. How about elephant? Yes, also E is for the elephant. How about exercise? E for exercise. How about this one? Elbow. Yes, elbow goes in E also. How about the egg? Egg begins with E. And elf, the helper of Santa. Elf begins with E. Cat doesn't go in E. And dragon doesn't also go in E. So we have all those pictures that we circled for letter E. Let's move on to the next. And this one is F. Remember, the sound of F is F. The sound of F is F. All the letters make a sound. The sound of F is F. And F, how do you write it? Capital F, line down. Make two lines across, one and two. Lowercase f, line down, line in the middle. So you have two kinds of f, capital and lowercase f. Let's circle the pictures that go in f. F for the fire. Yes, f for fire. How about this one? F for the frog. Yes, frog begins with f. F for fairy. Yes, also fairy begins with f. How about fan? Fan begins with f. Flag, yes, flag goes in F. And this one, the fish, yes, it begins with F. Now, baby begins with B, not F. And cookie doesn't begin with F. It's for C. So these are the pictures that go in F, the ones with a sound F. Let's move to the next letter, and it is letter G. When you make capital G, go around and go in. To make a happy grin for capital G. Lowercase g is like a gumball. Go around up and down with a tail. So you have capital G and lowercase g. And g has the g, g sound letter G. Let's circle the things that go in G. Now there's a correction. This one is a bottle of glue. So for the first picture, I have G is for glue. Let's circle glue. G for glue. Next one, G is for gum. What else can we circle? Is G for the grapes? Yes, G for grapes. What else? G is for the girl. We have our girl here. Two more pictures to go. G for the gloves. 
And the last one, G is for grass. Now, cactus begins with C, not G. Dinosaur begins with D, not letter G. So these are the pictures that go in G. G sound G. How about this one? We have letter H, and H has the sound H. The sound of H is the sound of H is all the letters make a sound. The sound of H is H. Make two lines, one and two, and go make a line to say hello in the middle. Lowercase h, line down, and add a hump. That's how you make your H capital and lowercase h. Remember, H has sound. What are the things that go in H? Let's circle. H is for heart. H is also for hammer. H is for the house, the one that you live in. H is also for a kind of house. It's the hut. H is for the hat to protect your head. And H is also for honey, what the honeybees make. Comb doesn't begin with H. It's for C. And the dam is for letter D, not H. Now we're done with our letters. Let's move on to our I words. So words that has the I sound in the middle. So how about this one? If you have your candle, you need to put a light and you lit that. You have the letters L-I-T, L-I-T, lit. And what are the letters in lit? L-I-T, lit. That is lit. Next one, we have our fix. This is fix. When something is broken, you need to fix it. So we have the letters F, I, and X. And let's sound it. Fix. 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 F-I-X. Fix. Fix. How about we move on to the next? The next word is sip. When you have a straw in your bottle, in your glass, you can take a sip of your drink. We have the letters S I P. Let's sound it. Sip. 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 Let's sound it. S sip. And let's spell S I P. Sip. Sip. This one, you have the word dim. When there's little light and the room is dark, that is dim. So we have the letters D, I, M, D, I, M, dim. And let's spell it out. D, I, M, that is dim. Dim. Now for the next work. The next picture that we have here, the ring around the basketball, that's called a rim. Rim, the basketball ring, that one that goes around, it's a rim. R-I-M, rim, rim. Let's spell it out, R-I-M, rim. And then this one, you have kin, K-I-N, kin. You are the kin. Of your mommy and your daddy, K-I-N, kin, kin. Now, how about for the next set, this time when the doctor checks you and they need to use the injection, they can jab. They can also do this. You can also do this to your hand, jab. So we have the letters J-A-B, J-A-B. Jab. We have J A B, that is jab. Another word we have J E T J E T Jet. Let's spell it out. J E T Jet. And the jet is a kind of plane. It's a fast plane jet. Another one, we have the jam. You can put jam in your bread. J A M. J A M. Jam. Let's spell it out. J-A-M. Jam. Next one. This is jot. J-O-T. J-O-T. Jot. And jot is when you write your words. Jot. J-O-T. Jot. So you have jam. Jot. Next, what else do we have here? We have the word jig. When you're happy, when you like to dance, you have jig. J-I-G. J-I-G. 
jig. And let's spell it out. J-I-G, jig, jig. Next one, you have J-U-G, j-u-g, jug, jug. You have J-U-G, jug, jug. When you have your juice or your water, you can put it in a jug. How about our sight words? The first one that we have here is the word has. H A N S. Has. Let's look for all the has words. I will circle it for you. Is this has? Yes, it's the word has. Another one. This is has also. This is has. Now, this is has. Did I circle has? No, that is can. C A N. That's a different word. This one is this has. Yes. This one also. Yes. This one is this has. H I M. That is different. That is him. Is this has. Yes. So we found all our has words. Next, we have the word he. H and the letter E. He. He. Let's look for the he words. This is he. Yes. H and E. This is also he. Another one. This is he. This is also he. This one is this he. B-R-I-N-G. No, that is bring. That is different. Is this he? Yes. And this one also. Is this he? Yes, also. So we all have our he words. H-N-E, he. Next one. You have the word here, H E R N E, here. Where are the here words? Is this here? Yes. This one also? Yes. Another here word? Yes. I think this is here. Yes, also. How about this one? Are they the same here word? No, that is the word will. W I L L, that is will, not here. Is this here? Yes. And this one too? Yes. So we found all our here words. Let's move on to the next part. And that is to review our number. So how many apples do we have? Let's check. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We marked and count. And it's six. Tell me, did I circle six? This is number six. How about this one? Let's count the apples again. Mark and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Where is the number ten? Did I circle ten? No, that's not ten. That's eight. Is this ten? Yes, this is number ten. Okay, this one, how many apples do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Where is five? Is this five? Yes, we have five. That's number five. This one, how many apples? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I circle seven? Yes, that is the number seven. How about this one? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is eight? Is this number eight? Yes, that is eight. And this one, this set shows how many apples. One, two, three, and four. Do we have four? Did we circle four? No, I circled two. This one is this four. Yes, that's four. We're done already with our review lesson. It's time to do our work time. So please do this one. I want you to do your work. For the first work, it's the letters E to H. I want you to color the picture and write the letter beside it. So E is for what picture? E is for the ear. And how about you write your E? Remember, line down. Three shelves and lowercase e, line down and around, letter E. Next, F is for what picture? 
football, helicopter, or eyeglasses. It's football. And what's our letter? F. Letter F, capital, lowercase. Next, letter G is for ice cream, house, or grapes. It's the grapes. Let's write capital and lowercase g. Capital G, lowercase g. Next, how about the letter H? H is for leaf, harp, or brush. It is the harp. Let's write capital H, lowercase h. So we found all our pictures beginning with each letter and we wrote the letters in the box. Now, if you're not yet done with the work, pause this video, play it again once you're done. We will move to the letter I words. You need to match your words, write them in the correct box. So the first one is kin. K eh. mm, this is kin. Right, K. I and that is kin. Next, the ring in the basketball ring. That is a rim. Where is rim? R eh. mm, this is rim. R, I, and M. That makes the word rim. Next, you drink your soda, your juice from a straw. It's to sip. S I P. S I P. S I N P. That is sip. Next, when there's little light and the room is dark, this is dim, D-I-M, dim, D-I-M, that is dim. Another one, you light your candle, you show it to somebody that is already lit. Where's lit? L-I-T, L-I-T, lit. And when something is broken, you can fix it. F-I-X, F. I and X fix. Let's go back. Let's read our words. You have kin, rim, sip, dim, lit, and fix. How about for J words? So when you're happy, you're jumping around. It's jig. J-I-G. J-I-N-G. Jig. Next one, you have jet. J. E, T, jet. The fast plane is a jet. When you write, that's also the word jot. J, O, N, T, jot. This one you put in bread to make it sweet. It's jam. J, A, M, jam. Jug. You put your water in a jug. J, U, N, G. And the last one you have jab. J, A, B. Job. So let's read our J words. You have jig, jet, jot, jam, jug, and jab. Now, how about we color our numbers? This time you need to count how many objects in the box and then you have to color the correct number. You can use your crayon or your dabber to color. So for the first one, how many apples? One. Two. That is two. This is two. How many trees? One. Number one. How many frogs? One, two, three. Number three. How many fishes? One, two, three. Three fishes. How many snakes? One, two. How many flowers? Only one. How many hats? Only one. How many foxes? One, two. That's two. How many carrots? One, two, three. So if you're not yet done with the work, pause this video, play it again once you're done. Let's move to the next work, and that is to do counting again. How many oranges? One, two, three, four. Number four. How many pigs? One, two, three, four, five. Number five. How many slices of cheese? One, two, three. Three, four, five, and six. This is six. How many blobs of paint? One, two, three, four, five. How many worms? One, two, three, four. Number four. How many spiders? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. How many rabbits? One, two, three, four. How many hats? One, two, Three, four, five, and six. How many lambs? One, two, three, four, five. 
So we finished our work here for counting. I will move to the next page. If you're not yet done, pause this video. Play it again once you're done. I'll be moving to the next work. Let's count our ribbons. Mark and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. How many bugs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. How many basketballs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many jellyfish? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many scissors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many paint brushes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many globes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the numbers that we have seven to eight and nine. Now let's move on to the next work, and that is to sort the sight word. So first you need to trace. The word. First one we have has, he, and the word here. And once you're done cutting the words, you need to sort them and paste them all together in the correct box. This one is the word here. This one is also here. This one, H A S, this is has. H A S, has. H and E, he. There's something wrong with my screen. Let me fix it. Let's first paste our words and then let's write them all back again. H and E, he. H E R E, that's the word here. H and E, he again. H A S, has. H A S, has. H E R E, here. And the last one, H and E, he. Remember, H-A-S, this is the word has. H and E, the word he. H-E-R-E, -E, the word here. So again, what are the words that we have here? Has, he, here. Again, has, he, here. And once you're done with the work, you can now move on with my review here. The last page of the work is the sight words. Let's practice reading our sentences on the screen. Now, how about you practice reading with me, Megan? I will also read with you. We have, there is I in dim. Let's make a line. This is dim. There is I in dim. Fix. This is fix. There is I in kin. This is kin. So we have our words with I sound dim, fix, and kin. Let's move on to the next. There is I in lit. Make a line. There is I in rim. This is rim. There is I in Sip. We have sip. Let's move to the next. Let's practice reading for the J words. J is for jab. This is jab. J is for jet. This is jet. J is for jam. This is jam. So we have all our J words. Let's move to the next. J is for jot. Jot is writing. J is for jig. When you jig, you do a happy dance. J is for jug. This is jug. So we're done already with the reading. And how about I also give you your sticker friend. So for today, Megan, I'll be choosing your sticker friend. And I will put you here in Everest. And I hope that you finish your work. For today, I hope to see you tomorrow also, Megan. Bye-bye.